a perhaps a cheat on the Shing Ban. <laughs> yep, there you go. You called it, Peter. No big surprise there. And then the Water Ryu being banned out by Mr. Chung against Frank. So really taking out the value that that monster has been bringing out for Frank. We'll see what the draft ends up being. Really all eyes on Frank right now as we see Gany being considered. Would it be a big surprise for Mr. Chung? Very smart ban for Mr. Chung. It definitely makes it a lot scarier now for Frank to try to go for Nikki uh, and the AoE damage again because the Water Ryu seemed to be a very uh, crucial unit for that strategy. Yeah, we did see the Water Ryu really be able to set up everything uh, for the team and also continue finishing off the battles hmm. as well. So, Okeanos looking like the big consideration here for Frank with the Lulu. I mean, these monsters themselves are no strangers. We're very uh, used to them. Mm. But I'm wondering, is this really the way to try to battle things out against what Mr. Chung has been bringing out? Lulu speaks volumes right now. That is the most important pick to look at because it shows that Frank will most likely not go for one turn cleaves. Like Nikki is still an option. Look, she okay. is not there just for the one turn. She is good throughout the whole entire match. It's just that Frank will not try to just gamble it all on that one turn. Okay, so he wants to try to make a bit more of a stability play. Doesn't want to risk it all in one turn. I mean, we've seen that go awry against Mr. Chung. So we'll see how that pans out. Mr. Chung, meanwhile, still brings out that Hathor and then the Gianna as well. Mr. Sleep, as we know him, he is no stranger to that strategy. You take out his Chi Tan De Sheng and he always has the trusty Hathor. Chi Wu is going to be putting a bit more emphasis now on grabbing that turn one. Okay, and then the Chung Pong as well being picked up by Frank. So Frank, you know, kind of shifting back a little bit more for that turn one, but still has a little bit more of a long-term game plan, it looks like, with the Lulu. The Lulu definitely is a double-edged sword here. It can work out uh, fantastically in one way or the uh. other, but let's get back to that <laughs> because we see Fire Ryu. I love this monster. Oh, is it going to get locked in? Okay. okay. Mr. Chung with the Fire Ryu, and then we have the Juno as well. Mr. Chung, he knows that his opponent is trying to outspeed him right now, and he just brought in some really strong uh, bruisers to deal with all that CC. And of course now, Mr. Frank is switching it up, going for potentially the Leona, but he decides, you know what? Let's go for Anvil. Okay, we've seen Annabelle used to quite good success so far in the APAC preliminaries. Not always working out, but quite stable in whenever she's brought in. So now all the picks are set. We're waiting for the bands between these two players. Especially stable against the um, Fire Ryu because she is a water unit and she's not scared of hitting that Fire Ryu whenever the opportunity is there. Now, this is where it's really important to keep in mind that Mr. Chung's draft is very not synergetic because his opponent doesn't have too many buffs, but he's got a lot of strippers. Gany Ventilate doesn't have too much value. We have a lot lying on the hands of Fire Ryu for Mr. Chung. All right, we'll see how that goes. The bomb not able to secure onto Annabelle. That is a great start for Frank. And we see that Annabelle actually take a turn before the Ganymede can afford to reset. And she is looking for the potential cleanse onto Lulu or the armor break onto Fire Ryu. Oh my god, the damage. Oh, and Fire Ryu answers right back, of course, has that ability to counter with the Shuriken. And then you can also leave it in for extra damage with a chance so oh, oh the huge. lulu <laughs> the lulu coming in right before gany it literally just had the perfect speed tuning it moved after the stripper and then right before the one that wanted to use the anti-immunity that is huge so frank Clearly well prepared for this matchup right now. You mentioned it. All eyes on this fire Ryu. How much damage can you do? Broken, broken, but it all glances and Anibal sitting there super healthy. And now Juno missing. Okeanos has the field set up. Armor breaks are there. Rain of stones. You see some of the damage. Okay, and then three stuns. A little bit of damage across the board. A little bit, but of course. Look at the fire Ryu, he keeps popping up. Oh, Such a no. scary unit. Glancing on Anibal makes her not do as much damage onto the fire Ryu. So he's gonna go for the girl's prayer first. Yeah, I mean, all these counters coming out. If you don't have that attack power to really take out the fire Ryu, he'll keep answering back. This is looking a little dangerous. Frank playing it safe, making sure to not hit the fire Ryu more than he needs to. 
he is going to be relying on most likely the Anibal to take him out for now, putting a lot more damage onto Gianna. Yep, just trying to burst out at least one monster, and we're seeing a lot of damage come out. Lulu just trying to finish, not enough damage just yet, but of course, the Gianna's still stunned as well. Now, the question is, this is basically Mr. Chung buying time for Fire Ryu, looking for the solo, and Frank trying to survive oh, no. all of the Shurukens and Hadoukens. Oh my gosh, the Hadoukens always following through as well. This Fire Ryu providing so much value for Mr. Chung right now. Pass the attack break back. That's what I would do to the Fire Ryu if I was Frank and he landed. That is very huge. Yeah, that is massive. We've seen the damage he's been doing so far, but so much now being focused on to the Chung Hung from the side of Mr. Chung. Chung Hung definitely needs that top me up from Lulu, getting that health back, and he is sitting on a turn away from his skill three, his main control skill. Okeanos, oh, you boy. need to prove yourself. Oh, Rain boy. of Stones! And he there gets the damage and the stun onto the Ryu as well. This is Huge the golden moment. The golden opportunity oh! and the animal with the teddy bear. Just nukes down the fire Ryu and that secures the win, Frank. To match number two, this is not yet match point because we must remind you guys, the finals is a best of five. Yep, best of five indeed. So still a little bit of a road to go for Frank. And of course, for anyone who missed it, as a quick reminder, the new monsters, the Sky Surfer and Robo, not active yet in the preliminaries. They will be active in the regional cups and onward for SWC 2021. So now the pre-bans this time, it's going to be Gianna. And then we're going to see the Dark Pioneer being banned out by Mr. Chung. Going for the potential Okeanos, he recognizes that Mr. Chung has shown good performance on the Okeanos and he wants to be taking that away. Gany and Lulu, we've seen these two first pick before. Yep, and Lulu, of course, continuing to provide a lot of value. That does mean the Water Ryu this time available, so Frank will be picking up that monster mm. for himself. Mm. And now there is Chiton De Shang and another new pickup here for Mr. Chung. Yeah, I mean, we are just seeing a lot oh, of different geez. strategies being just showcased by both players here. I love it. I love the adaptation, especially in a best of five. You want to constantly be bouncing back and forth. We got the dark Kobo Bomber coming out from Mr. Chung. And now we're looking at potentially more Paladin mm. gameplay here today. We've seen a couple variations, the Antares being considered as well. Mm hmm. Antares and Leona bring so much damage now for Frank within the single target. And if you look at the side of Mr. Chung, uh, Bering is there as a stripper to set up for the Gany and Cheetah and the Shang. So there's not too much damage on the side of Mr. Chung, but he's absolutely packed with CC. So Mr. Chung, Seeing Leona and Antares. Oh! Oh my gosh, no way! No way! No way! You're just taunting! Oh, and he, he says, doesn't. No! I am not taunting <laughs> Carbine! I've seen this unit do great work <laughs> and I want to use it too! It's so fun! I, what? This is crazy! Mr. Chung bringing out the Carbine against Frank himself! And he now locks it in. Shitan Desheng does get banned out. Antares getting banned out by Mr. Chung. But listen, for me, Peter, my eyes are just on this carbine. Can he get that shot up? Can he get the one shot, one kill? This is now game number two in this best of five between Frank and Mr. Chung in the winner's finals of Group C in the APEC preliminary. For me, Chobra, I'm looking for the damage from the Water Ryu. It has done so much, but there is carbine. He is charging up now. We know he's so scary as to see the silence coming out of Barry. Oh man, silence across the board. And now the Water Ryu but does have a chance to answer back. He wow. just does. Nuke down the bearing. So much damage from this Water Ryu. We are seeing him take out units left and right. But now the problem is Frank is scared to touch Carbine. And if he gets a turn uncontested, we know what he can do. Yeah, so he's just really skirting around the issue here. Lulu has some options. Is just going to go for the top up across the team. If you look at this, Shobra, it's literally a one-man Carbine team. Gany and Lulu are there to just support him. All just weight is on the shoulders of Carbine right now. If you're Leona, you don't want to touch him because that could give him attack buff <laughs> and full attack bar. Oh, you can just tell Frank just tiptoeing around this Carbine, trying to do what he can. Now, you've got the Rain of Stones, but you've got the immunity as well. And on top of that, again, you want to avoid the Carbine, so just goes 
for the reset onto the Lulu, does get it. We're playing hot potato right now. No one wants to be the one to touch oh the carbine. Boy. Lulu, she doesn't have any skills as of yet, but all eyes are pointed towards carbine right now <laughs> because he's about to take a turn right afterwards. Yep, and Here there we go. it is. Active fire. Oh. oh. What? That's not the carbine we saw from before. This one's different. <laughs> Not able to secure a kill, not able to just complete. Simple Gekko, but look at that. He gains the attack for anyways okay. because the water reef glanced on him. He has another shot now with the rain of stones looking for the oh, kill. Oh, and he gets it. He says you're low enough, not going to get a chance. Frank is able to tiptoe around the car by long enough. Dodges oh, one okay. bullet, doesn't get eliminated from that one shot. And now he has a lead. It's just Gianni and Lulu left, and that's the GG out for Mr. Chung. Frank. <laughs> That, I mean, I was going to say that damage wasn't that great, but it almost felt like it wasn't existent compared to the earlier shots that we've seen uh, when we saw it pick from Frank himself. So we'll see. I mean, Mr. Chung, I, I really feel like he's trying to really throw some curveballs because he notices that Frank seems well prepared against what he's bringing out today, but it's not working out. Frank now at match point in this best of five. Right, so to give more of a detailed explanation as to why Carbine didn't do as much damage is because Frank played so smart around it, didn't touch it a single time, so Carbine didn't have attack buff. Had he had attack buff, that could have been the snipe, so we are seeing why Frank was able to make it this far against Mr. Chung, leading, and this could be match point for Frank. Uh, Frank just really understanding what he's playing up against, not giving that extra edge and that extra damage not coming in, of course, without the buff. As you mentioned, Peter, love to see that little detail uh, coming out from Frank. So now in this third game, what does Mr. Chung do? Chi Tan Desheng is banned out once again. And now we see, uh, of course, the Water Ryu was banned out. We've got a couple picks already down the road. Now we're seeing kind of return to standard picks all throughout the Gani Oki combo, this time on the side mm. of Frank. A lot of AoE synergy on the side of Frank, and one of the most traditional responses to that is the Vertihal, because when the opponent has so many AoEs, you have that many more chances to try to proc a revenge as we are seeing a potential return oh of Rigel. Oh my gosh, Rigel, you mentioned it before as well. This is another monster we kind of mentioned as having a good theory behind it. We didn't see it to great success so far in the Apex preliminaries, but now it is locked in oh. for Mr. Chung. I like Ooh. the Leona, but I like Kinky even more. He's he's bouncing back and forth. Frank, he really wants to secure this. And Anibal, I think I actually like that the most out of those three. <laughs> it brings that extra sustain, that control, the secure damage against fire that Frank needed. Okay, well, the Anibal comes out, but does get banned out promptly. And meanwhile, the Lulu going to be banned out against Mr. Chung. So that sturdy, sturdy sustain that we've seen all throughout SWC 2021, not going to happen. This is match point on the spot for Group C. They want a seed to the APAC Cup. Frank leading 2-0 in this best of five. Frank, he's got to play around the Vertihal and the Rigel. That is why he opts to uh, save his skill three, not going for AoE any sooner than he needs to. Of course, Okiams with the Spear of Devastation, perfect setup for Chung Pong. Now all Chung Pong has to do is go for a serious matter. And he is able to get some control. Some control, but Vertahal responded back with a counter. Ganymede coming in now clutch with the skill three. But the problem is this stage was meant for Okeanos. But when he's provoked, you cannot do Reign of Stones anymore. You're right. I mean, this Okeanos not able to really do anything until that Provoke is gone above his head. So now, just have to buy a little bit more time. It looks like Frank has to skirt around the issue for just a little longer. Now, Chung Pong with the Ventilate is going to be able to buy more time for Oki. But the Verna oh, House, he does it again! My gosh, just keeps answering back! The Verna yeah. providing so much value for exactly the purpose he was brought in. Now, this is where we need to see the Okeanos move if you're rooting for Frank right now because that Reign of Stones could seal the deal for Mr. Chung. Of course, there's still the Rigel that he needs to work through, but I'm sure the damage will be there. Okay, well, of course, that slow is buying just a little bit of time before Okeanos can get his turn, but it's starting to come up. Lots of damage being dealt onto the Okeanos. The skill two, it has a chance to freeze, and he gets oh, it! Oh my gosh, Mr. Chung is able to really just block that one window, and now he gets to continue the game, trying to play it on his own terms. Now, Gianna was very low. They already now has the death break as well. 
Her surviving. It could be huge if she gets a bomb up somehow. But the question is, does she have the Violet Runes? She's probably running on Swift, I guess. Okay, yeah, not gonna get that extra turn, so she's not gonna be able to get the bomb up. Does get a little bit of damage. And that should be what? the end. Oh my Bird god! Hell? When does he stop? Oh my gosh, you get the finish on the Gianna, but the Vertihal has some different plans. Every single time, Frank. I mean, he's been playing so patiently with his AoEs, but each time he raises his head, he instantly gets smacked back down. Yeah, Frank, uh, you you called it as it is. You can tell he's really working around. He knows how he has to play this, but this Vertihal is just waiting for him to pop out. Jiwoo looking for some potential sleep, but it gets resisted. Frank, oh, things goodness. are not going so good for him right now. Ganymede is here to get the ventilate going, but he saves it because he realizes Chungpong has skill three up and ready to go. No, so he's just gonna wait for that extra chance in a little bit. But here's a problem. What if your Chungpong gets provoked? That's what the Cardinal's looking oh. to do. But the glancing hit came in huge. Woo. Now Rigel, he's also got glancing hit, and it comes oh in huge. Oh my gosh, the glancing is massive here for Chungpong. The first time that I have seen this Vertihal not revenge. So Frank right now is getting that time he wanted. Now it is a bit scary to ventilate the Chungpong because what if Rigel kills it right? Rigel's looking for the crit, but he doesn't get it. Okay, another glance. His chunk bump stays alive, but as you mentioned, the still last just one. playing it safe. The armor <laughs> break was not there. <laughs> and the revenge from the Vertihile strikes back yet again. You look at the sustain from Rigel and the damage. How is Gany going to work around two threats at once? It is looking very grim for Frank at this point. Yeah, Frank, I mean, he tried his best. He does get another turn here on that Gany. Another turn, but the seal magic is only doing 2,000. We can see that this Gany is not built for damage, and that is going to be the bane for Frank, because now we see Chi he's going to be taken out. There's a huge fan oh. from the Vertihal, and that should be game over. Yeah, I don't really see an answer here. As you mentioned, the damage just seemingly lacking for this Gany. He's still just hoping for one chance, but even then, the Gany, uh, you, have, you have to have a miracle of bursting people down right now if you want to turn this around. Even with glancing landing on Vertihal, <laughs> oh. he crits twice anyways, and that is going to be the match going over to Mr. Chung. Mr. Chung brings it back, he puts a win. And so while Frank was playing correctly, as you called it, Peter, uh, around the composition, Mr. Chung still able to come out on top with that draft. We'll see how things change this time around. It's going to be Gianna and Ganymede now being banned out. The Ganymede off the board here in game four. Still match point for Frank in this best of five in the winner's finals, trying to get a spot in the APAC Cup. Frank is definitely feeling comfortable with his advantage, but he wants to lock in the victory here. He can't let Mr. Chung come to a 2-2-2 two, 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 because then it could just all collapse on him at once. Yeah, you if you go down to the wire there, it's really, really dicey, and you can tell Frank, he's got a lot of things racing through his mind. The Okeanos was the consideration. It does get locked in, and now Mr. Chung this time takes away the Chung Pong, and then the Lulu for himself as well. Mr. Chung, he's been taking Gany and Lulu very frequently, but because he banned Gany or pre-banned it himself, of course, he had to opt for a bit of a switch up. And now Frank, I'm sure that he is feeling not so good about going all landing on CC again because oh. Mr. Chung. Okay, so now we're going to see that Nikki return for Frank with the Water Ryu. The Water Ryu wasn't pre-banned, and so it, it mm. is able to come back. Of course, this time it was open from the pre-ban. And now, Mr. Chung, what is your answer? You've seen this comp in action. I am definitely a fan of the presence of Hei Gong because it makes it so that the Water Ryu, um, once he gets his skill to off, your team could try to potentially cut, and that definitely puts a lot of fear into the mind of Frank. As we see Wunsa coming out, very fast stripper, brings that attack bar boost for the teammates. If he manages to strip a buff, Savannah is just there for just perfect damage. Okay, so Frank trying to answer back with his own adaptations as well. You mentioned the Hei Gong, Frank answers with the Wunsa. How does this pan out? Mr. Chung still has one pick left to try to throw another change right now. He was able to secure his own Cheetah and Desheng. We know how much he loves that monster. Now, Mr. Chung 
looking for something to round out his composition. Mr. Chung knows he's in trouble if he lets Frank's composition go through uncontested. So it seems like Mr. Chunk is not aiming for a unit that interrupts in between uh, Frank's combos, but more like a unit where if you fail to take me out in one turn, then I will strike back with all the CC is what Mr. Chung is saying. Yeah, you've got that Cardinal, you've got the Chung Kong, you've got the Chitan the Shen, of course, and then you've got the Lulu as well. So. If things aren't eliminated immediately, this is looking dicey for Frank, but we've seen him do it before. Match point for Frank, leading 2-1 in this best of five. This is where the winner's dicey. finals. Oh! But the thing is, we know that Nikki doesn't need the strip. We are seeing the damage come out. Okay, on the Savannah, they have the attack bar. Here comes the Rain of Stones, riding up the damage. Oh. And now Savannah, with the gigantic roar, trying to seal the deal. This could be the moment that Frank is looking for. He is waiting on the time. He knows he needs to... Critically. Okay, and he's taking out the Lulu. So now the sustain gone from the side of Mr. Chung. He still has everyone very low. He needs to finish them off though. If the CC all starts to chain together, no stuns from that sword rain. No stuns. That is definitely not what you wanted to see as Mr. Chung, nor was Chi Tan Shang able to get in a window for skill oh. three. And look at oh that! Oh my gosh, Frank, are you doing it? So much damage to Cardinal alone, and he gets wiped out. Frank swiftly eliminates every single monster from the side of Mr. Chung, and he will be moving on to the APAC Cup from Group C of the APAC Preliminaries.